I'm buzzing, let's drink up Your death look like big fun Come on, let's get it on Like that one fin gay song I'm stunning, you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me The night is young and so are we Okay guys, here is my breakfast. I have my bacon and eggs as you just saw me make and then I have my coffee here. And today we are drinking the Skinny Syrup uh, Vanilla Bean Pumpkin. So, I like it okay. It is not, to me, as good as the Pumpkin Spice Latte one. That one is, I don't know, just has a little bit of a better flavor to it to me than this one does. But this one's still good. It's okay. But I don't know if I would buy it again necessarily. But anywho, that is breakfast. And then, who do we have around here waiting on their bacon? Nico's acting chill, leisurely, like he doesn't care, as usual. Like any man, I guess. Huh? Ozzy's anxious. Sophie's like, just give it to me, honestly. And so are the girls. The girls are more anxious over food than the boys, it seems like. Mm. Yep. All right, let's give y'all some bacon. This could be the summer of my life now, Give it to me like you know you should now, babe. This could be the summer of our lives, the summer of our lives. Give it to me, baby, oh, my. We can keep on dancing now. Give it to me, baby, oh, my. Give it to me, baby, oh, my. We can keep on dancing now. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another Saturday vlog, grocery haul, all of the above. I am so happy to have you here. If you are one of Jennifer, Gen if you are already one of Jennifer's gems and subscribed, hello, I love you. Thank you for joining me again. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit that red subscribe button down below and that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And also follow me over on Instagram. Here's my Instagram handle. And I have a fabulous Facebook group. I highly recommend you join it. There is a link down in the description box to that. It is called Finding Our Way. And this is the icon to that Facebook group. So anyway, we have a lot going on today. I'm feeling super busy. I have a couple of videos in addition to this one that I need to film. And we've also decided to go shopping today in Green Hills, which is Nashville. Basically, it's like 30 minutes from here. Could be more depending on traffic because sometimes the traffic around that area gets pretty crazy. And my daughter is going to go with us. Um, I was trying to get all of them to go, but I guess Athena woke up with an upset stomach. So so Terry's staying home with her so it's just gonna be us and our daughter so it will kind of be uh, like old times here is mr. Nico to say good morning to y'all oh and Maya too Maya did you come up here to say good morning to the people yeah she's like no I did not so Charlie is picking up the groceries right now and as soon as he gets back we are gonna do the grocery haul real quick my daughter is coming here too she is gonna ride with us because She's pregnant. I was worried about, you know, her driving in that traffic around that mall. It does get kind of crazy, and I just feel better with her riding with us. And I might try to see if I can get her on camera so that y'all can just see her and her. Because she's, you know, 30-something weeks pregnant now, so she's got a nice, pretty little pregnant belly. But we shall see. She does not like to be on camera very much, so that may or may not happen. Also, while we are waiting on them to come back for the groceries, then we are going to cut to a product that I wanted to share with y'all today from Axel Glade. Y'all are either going to love this, you're probably going to be intrigued by it, 
You could be grossed out by it. I was intrigued, so I definitely wanted one. And yeah, so we're gonna cut to the bathroom to me um, using this product. Let me show you what it is. And then we'll be back and we'll do the grocery haul. In here in my bathroom and I am excited to show you, and a little nervous, this product that was sent to me from Axel Glade. It is called Spade. And this is basically an air cleaning device, okay? And the cool thing is, is you connect an app to your phone and then you can actually see inside your ear and see what you're cleaning. So, um, I'm like obsessive on cleaning out my ears. I don't know if y'all are or not. I know that you're not really supposed to use Q-tips because it really just kind of pushes everything down in there. With this, you can actually see the wax in your ear and scrape it out. So, we are going to test this out. So, this is what it looks like out of the box. This is really like having a personal otoscope or otoscope. I don't know how to say that, you know, like the ear doctor would use to see inside your ear. So you open this up and it has this little tip on the end of it. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's what's going to go in your ear. You're not going to go very deep and you are just going to be able to see and remove the wax in your ear. I'm going to put the lid on that. This connects to Wi-Fi and everything and connects to your phone through the app. So I'm going to do like a little screen record as I'm doing this and I'm going to uh, put it up here beside. I'm also probably going to be holding my phone and kind of looking down. I actually haven't used it yet so I have no idea what it's going to look like in my ear. I'm a little nervous. I never thought I would be showing y'all this but yet here we are. My battery's flashing. I'm going to change it and then we're going to do this real quick. Okay guys. We're going in, we're going to use this in the left ear. It kind of guides you and tells you. It also tells you to hold the screen horizontally. We shall see how this uh, um, video record goes, but we are just going to go in and we're going to scrape. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. I always feel like my ears are so clean. Oh my God. There's so much stuff in there, y'all. I'm shook as to what is still in my ear because I've already showered. I actually clean my ears with Q-tips and I always feel like my ears are really clean. They're not. So, again, you're either grossed out, intrigued, really want one of these for yourself, or may hate the idea, or all of the above. But, thank you so much to Axel Glade for sending me this. I've seen some other YouTubers show this and have been um, intrigued by it. It's also a little weird. It's kind of like one of those things, you know, you're watching somebody clean their ears out. However, um, this goes to show you that just using those Q-tips doesn't do anything but push everything around in there. And yeah, I'm really going to give my ears a good cleaning. Uh, thank you again to Axel Glade for sending this over. There are um, different little tips and stuff to change out and you also can store in this little base the little tips and stuff let me see here i haven't put them in there yet they're still in the pack i know they're they, they are in there i don't know what's in that other little pack then so in this you've got your different little tips and things that you can uh change out and of course you will want to clean them after each use i don't really know how long they last but and then this is also the little charging base which I did let it fully charge and stuff and it is connected to Wi-Fi and then it connects to the Spade app on your phone and yeah so pretty cool I think this is an awesome device I'm going to finish cleaning out my ears that I thought were clean that obviously weren't and I'm going to thank Axel Glade for sending this over super excited to have this because I pride myself on being very clean and very hygienic um, but what you can't see, you don't know. So anyway, check out Axel Glade. I will have the um, link and the discount code and everything that they have provided here on the screen and listed down in the description box as well. So now, after we've talked about cleaning out my ears, let's jump back into the grocery haul. Why not? Clean out ears, go right to groceries. That's life, huh? So thank you all. Thank you, Axel Glade. And y'all be sure to check it out and get you one of these. Okay guys, here is Jaylee. She doesn't want her face on there too much, but she is so beautiful. But here is her little belly bump. How far along are you? Uh, 33 weeks. 33 weeks, wow. And that baby is moving, y'all. She sent a video last night. 
Wasn't that weird? It was weird. He or she, we don't know. I still am calling a she, but I mean, her whole belly was... It's moving right now. Rolling. I don't know if I can capture it on camera. I hear Papa pulling up with the groceries. It's right there. Mm -hmm. Did you feel that? Uh-huh. Is it still breech? I don't know. I'll find out at 36 weeks. Okay. So the baby's head was up here the other day, but it doesn't feel like it is. Well, that when it was moving like that last night, it felt like it had moved, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he or she flipped. Hopefully. Hopefully. But anywho, there's my beautiful daughter. Everybody will be so excited to see you. They heard your voice last week. I left that in where you called when I was doing the grocery I haul. I did. <laughs> I did. And there's Nico. They love Nico. Nico's the, the uh, king of the groceries. So, let's get these uh, set up and we'll do a grocery haul real quick. And then we'll go into the Cheesecake Factory. I think that's the only reason Jaylee wanted to come shopping with us. Also wanted the bread. And the bread. <laughs> and you want to shop a little. I do want to shop a little. She's going to help me with my, um, let me flip you around. She's going to try to help me with my handbag purchase. So for years and years and years, I've wanted a Louis Vuitton. Um, so we will see. And we may go to Nordstrom and look at their bags too. I know that they have like some other designer brands. They don't have Louis Vuitton. I don't know what all they have in there. So we shall see what we end up purchasing. But before, um, you know, I don't have like my day job. I feel like I need to get a bag, even though I've been talking about budgeting, but that's that crazy part in me. I'm on a budget, but you know, I might go drop a few thousand dollars on a handbag. So we shall see. But let me set up these groceries and we will do that real quick and get them put away and we will hit the road. Okay guys, groceries are set up. Real quick before I do the grocery haul, I was gonna go over my meal plan for the week. So we are gonna do the turkey sausage in the oven with the Brussels sprouts and the Cajun seasoned potatoes. That's gonna be one of our meals. And then our other one is gonna be Tuscan, like a creamy Tuscan chicken bake. I think that's from the Pound, WW Pound Dropper. I printed the recipe off yesterday. I do not have it in my hand right now. But along with that, I think I'm gonna do broccoli. I got some more of the steamed broccoli florets. I don't really know how I will cook them but I just threw that in there just to have broccoli as a side and then I think we'll probably just do just some jasmine rice or something with it um I could do quinoa but I think I'll do rice I think that goes better with the uh chicken so anywho those are the two plants I have not actually decided on dessert for this week it might just be one of my chocolate cookie weeks um because Although I said I was going to do a bunch of pumpkin recipes, the pumpkin pie cheesecake that we made last week was really good. Which, by the way, Jaylee, we did make a really good pumpkin pie cheesecake. Mm -hmm. So, with the Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt oh, yeah. and pumpkin. It's real easy. But, anywho, um, we really love that. And then I think we had pumpkin muffins the weekend before. So, I've ordered some pumpkin, but I haven't really found a recipe yet that I want to try something new. So, I'm going to have to do some looking tonight just to see if I don't come up with anything then I will just make a batch of my chocolate peanut butter cookies. But let's do these groceries real quick because it is 11.57 and I wanted to be ready to leave here by about 12 so that we can get up there and eat our lunch and do a little shopping. Okay, so over here we have our two packs of the turkey sausage. Whenever I cook the two packs like this, we will just slice it up into like little pieces and put it flat on a baking sheet. That will end up to be six points per serving. It is a little bit high, but y'all, this stuff is so good. If you know, if you've ever tried it, I crave this. And I'd actually kind of forgotten about it and was just scrolling through my Kroger app and saw it on there as one of my items. I was like, heck, it has been a long time since we have had that. So I had to get some. And then I got a big pack of chicken breast. We will use three or four for our um, chicken bake that we're doing tomorrow. And this is one that we do bake in the oven. And so y'all know I always like to leave it in the bag. We would just stick it in the fridge. Charlie will just trim up any leftover ones and put those in the freezer. And we'll use those in like taco soup or something like that. Um, let's see, dairy products. So I got another thing of eggs like I do. I Every week, a Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt. That's just to dip my fruit in this week. I did get two of my egg whites. I had to get another Coffee Mate um, creamer. And if you know, you know, I'm mad about this because this is supposed to be a temporary lid. I don't like this lid. I just opened my other one and poured it into my old bottle because I like the little pop lid. But I've seen them, but just not on the sugar-free Italian sweet cream. It's making me mad. Come on, Nestle put back my good lid and no you cannot take the good lid and put on this it does not fit it's not made the same I'm sure it's a production issue or something but one of my followers actually emailed and they said that it was temporary that they did intend on going back 
to the regular lid for everything. But for some reason, on mine, they're not. Come on, Nestle, get with it. Uh, I did get this Kroger half and half. This is for the Tuscan chicken. It called for that. Uh, this is fat free, so hopefully that will save on points. I can't remember how many points the serving is, and if I will make any modifications, of course I will say that during the meal prep video tomorrow. I got two things of my almond milk as usual, and then I got five things of my Crystal Light. I had a coupon for one free box, and so I just went ahead and got my normal five. I got another one of my body washes that I love. There was a dollar coupon for that as well. Uh, I got my cantaloupe. I have my bananas. I actually got five bananas this week, although they're pretty yellow looking. They're not green. I really wish they would pick out greener ones, but I digress. Y'all know the, the deal on them picking out the produce. So I have my three bell peppers as normal. I have a nice looking tomato this week. Last week the tomato was not good. We actually replaced it. Charlie picked up a different one at Publix because it was just hard as a rock. Uh, the blueberries look pretty good, my normal blueberries. And then over here I have some spinach. This goes in the Tuscan chicken recipe this week. And then of course we will do the Brussels sprouts where we dice those up and bake those in the oven. I'll season up. If you don't like Brussels sprouts, I promise you, you will love these because they are seasoned so well. It does not taste like Brussels sprouts. So try my recipe and let me know if you like it or not. Um, I got the two bags of the broccoli florets that will be the side for our Tuscan chicken. And then I just picked up another pack of my Extreme Olay Wellness Wraps for my pizzas and uh, turkey burgers and anything else that I use those for. This is my green leaf lettuce for my sandwiches for the week. Oh, they left out my turkey. Yep. I just realized. See, there's always, there's always something missing. You'll have to get that at Publix tomorrow or later. If we go. Anywho, so I did add a pound of my uh, boar's head turkey, but it is not in here. Dang them. Uh, these are the little potatoes that we like to use. These are the petite gold, and we will uh, dice these up and um, season those up really good with the Cajun seasoning and a bunch of other stuff as well. They are really spicy, really good. Bake those in the oven. Actually, I will just cook that, this, and the sausage all in the oven together. It's actually pretty easy. Once everything is prepped, you can just throw it in there, and then it will all cook at the same time. I got two pineapples, as I've been doing, just to have enough pineapple, um, just because sometimes the fruit is not uh, plentiful enough whenever you get into it. And then we got a bag of Santitas for Charlie. He probably needed those. I wasn't sure. I just added a bag. Um, I got some of the sun-dried tomatoes. This is for the creamy Tuscan chicken bake. And two bags of our turkey pepperonis for our pizzas. Charlie's going to be off a few days and here and there throughout the month. And so he will eat more of the turkey because he'll make those pizzas almost every day. They're just so easy to make. Here's my two cans of pumpkin that I picked up. And then I did get another one of my pizza sauces, the Prego. And I got Charlie some Pop-Tarts. And I think we got some water as well. Yeah, three. I got three cases of water, which it is in the garage. So we are going to put this away real quick, and then we will head to the car and head to Nashville. You got that something, baby, that I can go without, just like a poison in me. You're all that I'm about, having the highs on my. guys quick outfit of the day before we head out shopping i am just wearing this gap t-shirt that we picked up in i guess it was in miami when we went to south beach that day super casual and i'm also wearing my white nikes which i never wear anywhere because i'm afraid of getting them dirty but i think that it looks so cute with the outfit so we shall see um Hopefully the Nikes don't get anything on them because we're probably going to go eat lunch at the Cheesecake Factory and do a little bit of shopping at the Green Hills Mall. I'm going to go look at some handbags and stuff because, you know, I've been thinking about getting one for a while, but we shall see if I end up making that purchase today. And, um, yeah, 
So we're gonna head out the door and see you in the car. Okay, everybody, we have finally made it into the car. You are not Velcroed down yet. Charlie is fiddle. Oh my god! A squirrel. You didn't get it. Oh my god! I didn't. Good. No, no, I made it. Somebody got one. Ooh, I would have. Oh, we oh, are all out. freaking out. A squirrel literally just ran in front of the car. Uh. Anywho, as I was saying, we just got in the car, and oh, look at that car for sale. It's an old Jeep. Yeah, it's been there a couple days. Um. And so we are heading to Green Hills. I'm going to get Jaylee to, which if you hear somebody talking, that's my Waze app um, on my phone. But uh, I'm going to see if Jaylee can call the Cheesecake Factory and see if they do like call ahead. Can you do that? Yeah, I can. Um, because anytime I've ever been there, it's been like an hour wait and I don't really want to wait an hour after we get there because we'll probably be getting there around one o'clock. It's 12.20 now, but this will be a nice uh, splurge for me. I will probably still order something off of their healthier menu. What are you going to get, Charlie? You don't even know what they have, do you? Those little Asian lettuce wraps or something is kind of what I'm leaning towards. Although, again, I'm wearing my white Gap t-shirt today, and that could be something that's a little bit messy to eat. So hopefully I don't mess up my white shirt or my white Nikes. That's my goal. Um... But we shall see what we end up getting. I feel like their menu is a little overwhelming at the Cheesecake Factory because mm -hmm. there's so many options. Um, but Jaylee is a vegetarian, correct? Yeah. At the moment. She goes between being a vegetarian and a vegan sometimes, but she's a vegetarian while she's pregnant. So she's down for some cheesecake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I messaged and said we were going, which I guess... How's Athena? She's throwing up this morning. Yeah, she's been pretty out of it all day. Yeah, so I hate that Athena's not coming. She doesn't know we're going, does she? Well, Terry hates it. She doesn't know I'm going with you. Okay, good. Terry cause... hates it the most. <laughs> well, because she's the one staying home with she the sick was like, kid. All my favorite people are gonna go get cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> See, I should have suggested it last week when we went out. Yeah. But, um, which we can all do it together one day. We will, but you know, then I got to thinking, you know, today it's Saturday, it's beautiful. I want to go, you know, scratch this itch that I've had to go look at these handbags. I mean, that's the main reason I'm going, and yeah, we'll see. My tag that was cut out of this shirt on the side is kind of itching me or something. Yeah, all right, she's gonna call it Cheesecake Factory, so I'm gonna pause and let Charlie. Uh, full with the Velcro while she does that. So, Charlie, you can stop it and do the Velcro. Okay, guys, we kind of have y'all on some Velcro. I don't really know how it's going to work because the dash is kind of angled funny. So, I have one of my packets of great crystal light sitting underneath the lens there to hold you, or Charlie's been trying to find something. But he's going to have to come up with an idea to really like hold you securely in place, or else the camera's going to wobble. Um, so, anywho, we shall see how uh, it goes. But y'all are Velcroed up there, so hopefully you won't fly <laughs> off. I am not going to vlog all the way to Nashville, obviously, because we're on the interstate now and traffic's already a little bit bad. So, I'm sure that by the time that we get off in Green Hills, it's going to be bumper to bumper. So, I just wanted to jump on here real quick also and say that we could not do call ahead seating. They said we could have done a reservation online, which they do not have a reservation available right now. So we're just gonna have to wait. So we may be able to put our names in, wait, and do a little shopping or something, we shall see. But um, I will uh, check in with y'all probably once we get seated at our table, I'll show you whatever I order. Okay guys, we are just now leaving the mall. It is 5 p.m. exactly. I did it, I made a purchase. I don't have it yet because the color I wanted wasn't in there so they've ordered it I'm gonna have it delivered to the store because it's signature only and since Jaylene Terry's going out of town Friday and may not they have an appointment this week too it was just easier for me to have it delivered here so we'll probably have to come pick it up next weekend or one evening next week but I'm super excited I spent way more money than what I wanted to but I'll pop a picture up right here of the actual purse that I ordered of course, I will probably do an unboxing haul 
once I get it for y'all, for anybody that's interested. I've never purchased a designer bag before, so this was a big deal for me. Plus, since uh, my lovely daughter's back here, she actually talked me into getting this one that cost so much more than what I was originally planning on spending. You talked yourself into <laughs> It's not like she really had to talk me into it. She really didn't care. But anywho, it is what it is. I made the purchase. And yeah, we are going to head home now because we are all walked out. We're tired. The only other thing was we bought some glasses at Crate and Barrel. So I will see y'all whenever we get home. Okay, guys. So here are the glasses that we picked up from Crate and Barrel. I know it's probably kind of hard to see glasses, but we got these. These are all beer glasses. I did not get them to drink beer out of. I'm sure y'all have seen a lot of people use them to make like iced coffees and other different drinks just to be kind of pretty. We just really don't have a nice set of glasses that we like. Luna's like getting mad. She's like really interested in the glasses and I'm trying to keep her from touching them. But um, these are taller ones. I forget exactly what these are called. These were cheap. These were like $3.95 a glass. We picked them up at Crate and Barrel. And these were a little bit more expensive. But these were 11 something. Let's see if it says the name of it on there. So this is the Pilsner. Yeah, I think that's what that says. And then these are just the regular beer glasses. So we just got four of each. And anyway, I think they're super cute. So, you know, maybe I can make my iced coffees and stuff like that in here someday. But um, I've seen a bunch of YouTubers use them and had to get me some. And I know I probably could have ordered them on Amazon too. But we were at the mall and there just happened to be Crate and Barrel there. And I was like, hey, I want to order some. I mean, I wanted to get some of these glasses. So Charlie also found an espresso you're going to have to set these over there. Can you move them? Because Luna's way too interested in them. They're going to have to be washed. He found an espresso, but it was two fifty, And we are thinking about getting one, but I think I can get one cheaper than at Crate and Barrel. It had the frother with it. Yeah, but I think that like at Bed Bath & Beyond, they always send me those 20% off coupons, and I think they would sell that there. See, then I could save 20%. Especially considering the money that I spent on my handbag today. But, um, anywho, so that was were the only two things that we purchased other than lunch at, um, the Cheesecake Factory, which I will show y'all right here, um, the cheesecakes that they had. I got a little footage of the, um, cheesecakes they had behind the glass and everything. We always love to look while we're waiting and kind of pick out what we want. And then for my lunch, I just ordered, um, like a Mexican tortilla salad. It was on the lighter option side. Um, it just had a little bit of chicken on it. That was probably the only negative thing I could say about it, but I really could only eat a little bit of it. And so it was really the perfect amount if I wanted to eat some cheesecake, because of course I did have some of that brown bread. Uh, Charlie, what did you get? I got the chicken and biscuits. <laughs> so Charlie got the chicken and biscuits. So you'll see a little footage here. My salad, Charlie's chicken and biscuits. And then Jaylee got a pasta dish that had a bunch of vegetables and stuff in it. Hers looked really good. She really liked it. Although I think hers was pretty garlicky. Um, she could like taste it afterwards as we were walking around. And then of course, here are the cheesecakes that we got. I ordered the salted caramel. Charlie got the like Snickers Caramelicious, which it looked really good in the cabinet. And that's the one I kind of did like a close up on. But I actually didn't like that one. I love the salted caramel. To me, that one was the perfect one. Jaylee got the pumpkin pecan. And it was really good too. It had a really good uh, pumpkin flavor as well. But overall, I love the salted caramel. I did not eat all of it. We all ate a little bit of each other's. But um, yeah, that's a lot of uh, like extra calories that I normally don't eat. So today was definitely a true splurge day. So we are home now. I don't know if we're going to do anything else for the rest of the night. I'm going to edit and stuff. I might take you in there and just let you watch me edit for a minute because I'm not sure how much footage I have. Um, but we'll see if I include it or not. Find something to watch on TV. And then I'm probably just going to have a turkey burger and some of my sweet potato fries for dinner because I've really been... Um, wanting to try that ranch dip in the Chobani yogurt and stuff and put it on a wrap and everything and try in a turkey burger. So, uh, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to have for dinner later. Uh, we're not that hungry yet. It's 6.13, but, I mean, I'll probably cook it here in a little bit and see 
Charlie ate a lot, so he said he's still pretty full. I can still only eat so much. I do still have restriction from my weight loss surgery, so, you know, it's still, I can still only eat so much food in a sitting, but um, we definitely got our bellies full today at the Cheesecake Factory. It was fun, and I'm super glad that my daughter went with me, even though I kind of gave her some crap in the car, as you saw, because I ended up getting a purse that was probably twice as much as what I was originally planning on getting, maybe even more than twice as much, um, but it is just a gift to myself. It's something that I've always wanted, and I think that y'all will love it. I wish she said that they had one in stock this morning, but somebody bought it. Um, so, anywho, they ordered one. It has to be, like, signed for, and the girls are going out of town, like, at the end of the week, and I'm not really sure what they have going on as far as appointments and everything, because I could have had it sent to their house. I do not want to have it sent to my job, because I don't want everybody knowing my business. I would not necessarily be here, or Charlie, I mean, if we knew the specific date and time that they were coming, then I would have it delivered here at the house, but we're just going to pick it up at the store, just because it would be easier. You have a whole month to go pick it up. She's like, you don't have to rush up here and get it although I will rush up there and get it after paying the money for it but um yeah uh I'm excited to get it and then be able to show y'all I probably will do a separate video on that bag just by itself just if anyone is interested and do like an unboxing or whatever it's the first one that I've ever purchased my very first designer bag so super excited but anyway um let's go do some editing Okay guys, change of plans. Instead of um, editing right now, I decided to go ahead and make my dinner. I'm going to show that to y'all and then we're going to go ahead and close out today's video just so that I can get my work done and relax for the rest of the afternoon. You know, I miss my Saturday nap. I hardly ever do that. So shopping is probably one of the only reasons that I would miss it for. But um, I don't want to be up too late trying to get this video up because normally I can stay up because I take that nap. But I'm almost done. I just have to add my music and then start my export and import. So let me show you this real quick. It is my normal um, turkey burger. Let me see here. Let me turn it around so you can see the turkey burger. All right, so we have the turkey burger. I took a little bit of my Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt and mixed some of that Fiesta ranch seasoning in it that Rhett sent to me. And um, I haven't tried it yet. I will let y'all know how I like that. And I have some sweet potato fries and then a little bit of fruit and the rest of that yogurt that was left over that I didn't use. And of course, I always use the no sugar ketchup for my sweet potato fries. This will probably end up my night. Hey guys, be sure to check out axleglade.com to get your spade ear cleaning um, device here. It is super handy and you have a discount code you can use. It is axle 10 to save you 10%. So be sure to check it out. All the information will be down in the description box below. Thank you all so much for joining me for another video. I love you. I love all of my Jennifer's gems and anyone else that is new here. If you haven't yet subscribed, you know what to do. Click that button down below. I love you guys and I will see y'all in the next video. Mwah.